Our underground, we're tracking crazy temperature swings and a late week storm system. After a cold and free brings us snow, yeah. it's been a little while since Chicago's seen uh, some big. All right, we got much more ahead on weather underground. Big waves crash uh, just showed us once again the big cities in the Northeast kind of missing out on the snow. A growing trend and climate specialist Carl Parker is with us to talk about why we're seeing fewer snowstorms in years across the Northeast are going to be uh, rebounding. So again, we get in. All right, well, Christmas just 17 days away, so it's time to get serious about that shopping and warm you up very much today. Uh, still in the uh, 40s now at this point, uh, 45 at the reporting site uh, with a wind chill of 45. So there's the good news. We don't have much of a wind to speak for, so it's not like it's feeling much colder than the already very cold temperatures for you, right? Florida, you're like, that's not why we come here. We come here to avoid this. 44 Jacksonville, 51 in Tampa, 42 Atlanta, 40 in Raleigh, also in Middle Tennessee this evening. Overnight lows dropping all the way into the 30s and 20s area wide. When we talk about uh, the Atlantas, the Raleigh's, uh, the Montgomery's and Charleston, Charleston dropping to around freezing. Look at Jacksonville, Florida, 34 for you. Now Tampa, places like Orlando dropping into the upper 30s. 30s and 40s, and so that has triggered some frost advisories from parts of southeast Georgia all the way down through the middle part of the state of Florida. So if you're not along the coast, good chance you are under that frost advisory with those temperatures uh, for some areas dipping into the upper even mid 30s out there. Now by the afternoon on Wednesday, we're back to around 60 in Atlanta, 64 Montgomery. So we'll warm up more than today and we'll see that trend continue Thursday morning, not going to be as cold as Wednesday morning and Thursday. Thursday afternoon warms compared to tomorrow as well. Uh, Thursday morning temperatures, how about low 40s in Charleston and Jacksonville, uh, mid 40s for Shreveport, Louisiana. So still cool, but not quite as chilly as uh, the way we've started the week. Uh, in Orlando, we've got uh, the next 24 hours mapped out for you. It is the overnight and early part of your Wednesday that's going to bring those temperatures into the upper 30s. 39, your uh, likely low by the afternoon, though, you can see well into the 50s with highs right around 60 degrees. So more comfortable to be out and about later in the day. Miami, your highs in the mid 60s. Morning lows, though, starting off in the mid and upper 40s. So going to be cool there in South Florida. As we said, Mark, I know everybody's going to be wearing all of their winter gear. You don't get many opportunities to really bundle up. So tomorrow will be one of those yeah, days. If they have any. As well, you're going to be seeing those highs 10, 15, 20 plus degrees above average as we uh, head into the next part of the week. And it's not limited to the central U.S. A lot of the country, uh, at least the eastern two thirds of the country, feeling the warmth. And that follows where we were for the month of November. We look at our November temperatures and the departure from average uh, well above average where you see that orange shading. So particularly across the northern tier and central part of the country with other areas getting in on that warmth as well. Uh, compared to average, Green Bay finished the month of November over uh, over seven degrees above average. We were above average in Kansas City, Denver and Atlanta. Five to six degree uh, surpluses for those areas. Tomorrow, the map again looks very similar to what we had during the month of November. So we're looking at uh, five to ten degrees below average there across Florida. But a lot of the country, particularly the central part of the country, will be above average. Some spots even 20 to 30 degrees above average. Now Thursday, have a 10 to 25 degrees above average. The heart of the warmth, southern sections of Missouri, northern Arkansas, western Kentucky and Tennessee. That's where we'll see those uh, real departures from average highs. And by Friday, now we're getting into the Ohio Valley portions of the northeast for that uh, significant warmth compared to what we would typically see here in early to mid December. Omaha, Nebraska, 60 degrees. You're high on Wednesday. By the time we get you into the weekend, though, mid 30s on tap. We're back to uh, right on track for average by Monday of next week. So some ups and some downs coming here in your week ahead. Uh, Chicago, same story. The ups first. We've got highs near 50 degrees on Wednesday and Thursday. That's above uh, the average high of 37. Back down closer to the mark by Sunday and Monday. Highs then will be in the mid 30s. And St. Louis, another spot. 62 Wednesday and Thursday. Well above our average high of 44 degrees. We'll slide down the hill by the end of the weekend. Highs only in the low 40s, Mark.
know that warm depositing directly becoming ice right on an object below freezing. So you've got water vapor in the air, but you've got objects in this case, the trees below freezing. And so the ice deposits uh, directly on that. And you also get interlocking crystals, ice crystals. So kind of gives it that very uh, whitish uh, look. Ideally, you would have this occur in one or more days of freezing fog. Sometimes when the wind is blowing too, you can have that hoarfrost building up uh, against the wind direction. Most common in late fall, winter or early spring, Mark. Plus, it's one of the most.